Hello everyone, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, 5th edition edition. Last time we made our way through this cave, defeating some goblins, freeing a druid, and destroying many newly spawned traps that were not in the game before patch 4. Which means I'm going to be moving forward with ever so slightly more care and hesitation. For now we're just going to keep wandering along the road ahead and see what we find. People up ahead. Something's wrong. Well, in that case, let's take a moment to use some of our new abilities. Astarian can cast the Guidance Cantrip, so let's have him do that on Andrew. And then if Andrew makes a skill check in the next minute, he'll add 1d4 to that check. So let's see if we might need to persuade these people of something. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows, marked on their flesh. And something within you stirs in response. We can use the special powers that are growing inside of us to persuade this person. Select the Illithid option. Being implanted with a Mind Flayer tadpole is a fate worse than death. Isn't it? Question mark? Uh, I'm going to go with medicine first before we revert to the strange worm inside of our head manipulating things for us. Target of five. Famous last words. We can't miss that, can we? Good stuff. He's hurt badly. An owl bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Uh... We'll hold his stare. We've been here before with the rest of the party. We know this is just a little conversation, some memories. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenner. New recruits. Yours to Shepard. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will... He, he. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. I feel like... There's been a miscommunication. We do have a pair of gloves that if we can gain the mark of the absolute, we can use them without being cursed. So, explain this absolute to me. What? Are you... Are you testing us? The absolute is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, true soul. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice, and when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Oh, I like these two. All zeal and no brains. What are they doing out here? It's dangerous out here. We know that all too well, sir, but... The Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. Why? We don't know what they look like, but... Anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. I survived that crash. You looking for me? You! Brenna! Kill him! 
Oh. <laughs> this was unexpected. Okay. I guess we're just gonna have a fight. They are novices, so this shouldn't be too difficult, but Shadowheart and Andrew aren't in the best of states. Uh, how's their deck saves? Not the best. Intended. But good enough, apparently. Alright, Andrew. Shillelagh. Let's show them what our new club can do. Solid six. Gale. Gale, Gale. We could go full burning hands on these guys. I'm just worried that they're going to get one really lucky hit on Andrew and he's going to be down and then we're going to be in the cycle of trying to heal and keep people alive and not get attacked while we're down. Yeah, that went very well. They have one hit point left. Astarian, you know what to do. So close. That's everyone's actions, bonus actions that are worth anything right now. Okay, is that all? Not a problem. Same as that goblin Sazer. Curious. Yes, Looks I like was. The absolutes drawing all sorts to become followers. Impressive in a way. But who is this absolute? Let's see if we can't pick the brain of the guy that we didn't kill. Recast, speak with dead. Corpse regards you lifelessly. Who are you? A true soul. A true son. Who chose you? The absolute. The almighty. I mean, you're not adding much information here. Do not fight her. Power. Such power. And anything valuable around here? Yes, they're dead now. Looking for home upon the absolute. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. So there's a secret weapon hiding around somewhere, perhaps. Loot time. Scroll of Bless for Shadowheart. Scroll of Protection from Evil for Shadowheart. Mace for Selling. Shaft of a Broken Spear. Maybe there's another half of the spear somewhere. The man is dead, but something shifts beneath his features. A glistening tadpole emerges. Slithering up past a sightless eyeball. Oh, gross. The same as the creature behind your eye. Uh, let's not try and make more mind flayers in the world. That sounds like a good plan to me. One squeeze should do it. But you stop short. How could you think of harming something so beautiful, <laughs> so pure? 
best glitch ever. Uh, insight versus strength. We'll go with our wisdom. Thank you ever so much. Good rolls today. The tadpole plops to the ground. Now is your chance to stomp it into the dirt. But it's too precious. Too sweet. Isn't it? Oh... We're going with... Let's try Constitution this one. It's the same as Insight, but we just used Insight, so we'll do something different. Twelve. No whammies, no whammies. So, these are the inspiration points that we've gained from our adventure. I don't think that failing this check is going to cause us a significant amount of harm right now. So I'm going to save them for when we're perhaps trying to talk our way out of a deadly situation. And we'll let this play out just as it has. Your foot stops short. You want to destroy it. But you simply can't. It slinks away, worming into the forest undergrowth. I'm sure that won't have dangerous repercussions later. Uh, where were we? Looting. Scroll of Greece. A Starion can have that one. I think he can cast that. Another one of these for Gale. A short sword and some common robes. What have you got to say, Astarian? So. We're blessed true souls, handpicked by the Absolute, just like their ex-brother, who, by a remarkable coincidence, also had a Mind Flayer worm in his skull. Probably. But at least we know what's scuttling about in our heads. He seems completely unaware. Ignorance is bliss, I suppose. Well, he's unaware of everything now that he's dead. And is it raining? I didn't know this game could rain. What do we have? Down, down, down by the river. Uh, there's a plant. I want the wisp weed. Thank you ever so much. I have no idea what crafting and such might become useful later. Leather boots. Sure. Don't think they have any kind of statistical benefit, do they? No, just boots. But if they're worth 50 gold, they're worth that to me. Lots of difficult terrain and mud. Another mind flare pod. Another pop. Ugh. Smells like rotten eggs. Maybe that was where the guy we just found was from. And this looks like a dead end, I think. Possibly something over there to be reached at a later date, but over on this end of things. A scrap wood shield. Well, we've got plenty of shields, but again, 50 gold is 50 gold. And we'll go back down the other side of this cliff. Possibly up onto the bridge above. Or we could try and get across this river. An open coffin is always something you're very happy to see. If we can get through this depth of water. Oh, this looks not safe. I think this might be a after we've long rested kind of place. Oh, but there's a, a cragged rock above. Uh, a starion. Uh, wait, everybody else stay over there. A starion. Please join everyone on the other side of the river 
running water doing damage to an elf. That seems suspect, but we won't consider it too much more for now. We'll uh, let plot play itself out in its own time. Uh, Astarian, for the meantime, if you could crouch and see if it's safe at the top of this cragged rock. Seems safe enough. Everyone else, please join. And I think I see ahead a very, very familiar pool of blood. Any of you that saw my first campaign might recognize Scratch, who last time I royally pissed off and he tried to attack me and I refused to kill a dog, so we ran away, spending many spell slots. So, what options do we have right now? We do have Speak with Animals, so we could go with that. We also have a Wild Shape charge remaining, so we could try and turn into a wolf and see if wolves and dogs can have a chat. I figure when we have a unique option available to us, why not take it? Let's go say hi to Scratch. Oh dear. Keep moving, stranger. Quietly. What happened here? I told you to go. Oh, we have druid specific responses. Uh, in that case, I promise I mean you no harm. Good roll. There's death in your scent, but not in your words. Still, you should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. I don't think he's going to wake up. Of course he will. And then we'll return home. All right. Real talk. Last time we did this, and that's how it ended so badly. He calls me Scratch. You can do the same. Hi, Scratch. We were attacked. Cackling, furry things on two legs. And their smell. It was strange, rotten, evil. You know the creatures he describes. Knolls. You can travel with me if you like. No, I won't leave him. If he doesn't wake up, follow my scent. I have a camp. If it comes to that, I may. Thank you. Okay, great success. We managed to not uh, get wrecked by a dog. There's another river passing here. And then up behind us this way is the village where there is the blacksmith's den and some other buildings and many goblins scouring around them. So, while we have this wild shape, let's see if we can't figure out what's going on up here. We can't climb up there, but I think there's a vine we can climb around here somewhere. There we go. Although I don't like the sound of that gnarling noise. What did you mean before, Gail? A woman with shadows for eyes, you said. Merely that if the eyes are the mirror to the soul, yours have dark curtains across the mirror. No offence taken, I hope. Not necessarily. I haven't made up my mind about you yet. 
that seems like flirting. And where is Astarian? Oh, you're crouching. That's why you've not caught up with the rest of the party. All right. There seems to be some kind of present danger up there. But we'll see what happens when we get there in the next episode. Thank you ever so much for watching. Uh, thankfully, this time we did not get attacked by a dog, so we can move up here at our own pace and see about what's going on up there. I hope you'll join me in the next one. If you have any suggestions for rules that I might add to this 5th edition edition playthrough, please put them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.